Okay, so there's two ways of making bobos, and I'm going to show you in this video how to do it between stitches. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to do it right in the middle here so I have three stitches on either side. So first I'm going to knit right till I get to that spot there. So in this pattern, I need to purl one, knit one through the back loop, Purl two, one, two, knit one through the back loop, purl two, one, two, knit one through the back loop. And now I purl, oops, splitting my yarn. Now I purl three. One, two, three. Here, I'm going to grab my crochet hook and I'm going to come in this strand that's just between these two stitches, which is right here. And I'm going to bring my yarn back, hold it with my left hand, and going through that strand, grab my work yarn and bring it through. <clears throat> and now I'm going to chain three. So grab my work yarn, bring it through one time. two times and three times. There's my chain. I'm going to now wrap my working yarn around, bring it through that first loop we went through, grab my working yarn, bring it back. I have three strands on my hook. I'm going to grab my working yarn again and just bring it through two of those strands. Now I have to, I'm going to repeat that again until I have four or five stitches, depending on how big you want your bobble to be here. So I'm just going to repeat those stitches. Working yarn, back through my main hole, grab my working yarn, bring it back, my working yarn, and then I only go through two, one, two. Now I have three and again working yarn through hole back working yarn and through two and there's four and i think for this pattern we only needed to do four for the bubble so we're going to stop here I'm going to grab my working yarn and bring it through all four of these and put it on my right hand needle. And there we go, there's our bubble. So now I'm going to finish purling the other three stitches I have. So I come in. and then I finish my row. On the way back, because we have added that one extra stitch, we need to knit two together at some point. It doesn't really matter where, if it's a second or third stitch that we knit together, or the third and fourth, as long as we get rid of that extra stitch we've added, then we'll be back to our normal stitch count and everything will work well. Okay, on the next video, I'll show you how to do the other kind of bubble, okay?